Morning, it's Saturday the 1st of uh, May, it's still been a frost, not a real keen frost but definitely a frost, yesterday was minus 2, um, we've got all sorts of, well we're putting uh, some fertiliser on spring corn actually, um, hopefully looked at forecast this morning, Monday all the country could get a good dose of rain, not just a few teasing showers, just a good dose of rain, I don't know how much but it looks like it's proper rain, so we're going to put some uh, nitrogen on uh, spring corn and barley and oats, and uh, so when it does come, it just gives it a good kick, you know. All lot, we aren't splitting uh, doses, we're just going to give it all lot. We've got a bridge to dig out, um, whether we get it done today or tomorrow or Monday, I'd rather do it today than before it gets wet, because where we're going, it's right inland, so we'd make a mess with low loader if, uh, if it is wet. I've got some spraying to do, some uh, magazine to put on some spring barley, what's just looking sick, just to give it a bit, bit of a pep. Um, you know, it's just like foliar feed, really. Phil's, uh, I don't know what, our Ollie, I don't know what he's doing, to be honest, whether he even turns up here day off yesterday, went to Beverly. Um, but to be fair he did a lot of hours when he was drilling so I mean he deserves a day off and there's more to life than work right we're off up to Burnby me and me, uh, me, and me dogs to have a look uh, at some land up there and to see how it's growing really come Jeff where's your sister come on come on Bell just up at Burnby, it's as bloody hard as iron and as dry as snuff, but it's coming, I mean the crop is coming, like we didn't do nothing with the stubbles here, nothing at all, and it it was bare, it was totally naked, no volunteer stuff, really, in an ideal world we'd have been better putting this in with some kind of cover crop, I know it's all ex extra expense and extra, uh, extra jobs, but if if this had had a green cover, keeping everything healthy through through winter, and then we'd have just drilled straight into it, like, you know, into like a, more the merrier, I would have said, if it was bloody a foot tall and real thick. So I round up it off and drilled straight into it while it was still alive. And uh, something to shade, the, to keep the moisture in, something to keep everything happy in the soil. I think that is the answer. I'm going to try that with this year. This time, I'm going to try it with this field. This has got a terrible black grass problem, so we always put it in with uh, winter corn, uh, spring corn, sorry. And uh, it is working. It uh, they're in half the count. They're in the, a quarter of the count that there was uh, four year ago. And so we are we are getting on top of it, but I think just leaving it naked is no good. It wants putting in. I'm to look into what type of cover crop. In fact, I'd like some advice if you if you've got a good cover crop mix, what into do you, or something you blend yourself out of uh, what we grow on farm, like I don't know spring oats. Do we put I don't know half rate spring oats on and drill it as a crop or? We maybe some other stuff in among it, or rye, or what we, you know, and um, blend your own, um, blend your own cover crop instead of paying stupidly high prices for uh, for what you get off, such as your, um, you know, your suppliers. It's all cost, isn't it? If you can do it, if you can cut costs anywhere, that's what you want to do. That don't look pretty though, does it? That bit. That field, this field is our worst field, King's Barn Barley. And it it got drilled alright, but then I don't know, I don't think we got the seed bed right. And it was stood wet, horrible all winter. In fact it was horrible. I think we should have upped the seed rate a little bit. I mean I think we put about 120 kilo an hectare. Um, of King's Barn. More than we we were we were told anyway and it just could have done with a bit more uh, but all seasons are different aren't they if it had been a great, perfect growing time it might have looked a picture and we wouldn't, would have been saying that 120 kilo was perfect but i don't know come on dogs get in in get in oh you're coming back you stay there come on jack
we've changed our farming ways really we used to back in we didn't have the we didn't have the uh, the tackle what we have now like oh it'll be right you know make half a seed bed bung it in it'll be right you know but now if it ain't, if it ain't going in perfect or something like perfect leave it in the back i mean i see people mauling corning we've done it so mauling corn into terrible seed beds just so they have a bit of an harvest well costs too much to grow to have a failure so i know it's easy to tell people what to do but this is what my policy is anyway i'd rather if it don't go in perfect if it don't well if it don't go in something like leave it in the bloody shed you know because paddling about wheelings is no good as this bloody field proves i mean ollie drilled it and i don't know edlands paddled them and then when it came to drill edlands drill had hardly going and it was just smearing lines and oh bloody horrible and oh, now it's grown now it's grown this land needs that stuff though this land needs that bloody muck we're while it's dry taking advantage and bringing all our all our ford yeah and muck up pig muck you know any we in fact if it's dry next if we don't get too much rain I'm going to get Ollie to bring a uh, 30 load of bloody compost up here next week. Yeah, it's a cost. Burning bloody diesels, scrubbing tyres off. But it could double that. It, it, I mean, if it put it, this 25 acre field, like, if it plus half a tonne to acre, because it's got a bit of body and a bit of green matter and, and you know, it's a lot healthier bloody uh, soil for next year, it's worth doing, isn't it? But it's there for years, like, and if we keep on top of it, you know, I don't know how these lads farm without muck to be honest. Because, you know, I, I honestly think if, if the soil's bloody, you're just raping the soil without putting out back in. It's alright, putting P and granular P and K on, or, or on with your sprayer, or whatever, however you put it on, to make your crops grow. But it ain't, it ain't putting that structure back in. You need, you need. Health, you need, you know. Anyway, I'm watering shite now, aren't I? It's a beautiful morning. Really, really, it's nice. So, I was going to hopefully get bloody uh, top dressed up today, uh, put all my fertilizer on me, spring corn, but them oats you can't see tram lines, so the, um, yeah, it'll be better at the end of next week. There's no panic. many people about it's half seven and it's in a cell apart from one jogger just getting a bit of spraying done uh, before it rains it's on about showers later on and uh, this spring valley looks so sick I don't know we're just putting some foliar feed on it just to give it a pep up got it's all its nitrogen yesterday so if we do get a bit of rain it's just like just, uh, you know, it'll grow, grow, grow. But, no, it's disappointing because all the rest of it looks really well. The rest of our spring valley looks pretty back good. Oh, everything's ready for a drink, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, I've always been a very, very good job of drilling. Very pleased. We've only had one tram line in here, though. When we pull wiring loom out and drill, and it covered. Look, we've got one on that side. We've got one on that side.
Sorry at that side. But at this side, oh, she's gone. An old in what? Two foot of water. So it's, it's going to meet its maker today and uh, get dug out. of that bit of history gone we're trying to think me and phil how how many years that's been in there i know no one will be alive who's built it i think of oh, is 150 but i think it could be more i think it could when that bridge was built that built that was built for horses you know not for, for not for tractors we might be wrong we don't know but bloody hell two foot water well no 18 inch of water's gone and uh, yeah, them, them lads on, and lasses or whoever who built this bridge, you know, obviously none of them will be alive now, but we, it took weeks to build. The right piece of artwork, really, some skill involved into that. And I bet it didn't take them that long, I mean, not compared to the, how the piss ball about nowadays, you know. And we've destroyed well weather destroyed it and then an age destroyed it and then we destroyed it in like five minutes into a big heap of rubble but what i'll do with them bricks because there's some real nice bricks i'll clean them and uh, i'll clean them and build something garden yeah 
in fact I've got a couple of little projects of uh, pergolia and all sorts of stuff you know some people just rubble it but them bricks would be dread to think them bricks a brick like that from your builders merchant would be I reckon at least a pound a piece maybe a bit more maybe 150 so, right that's it Saturday afternoon and when we finished so just looking at this flat of wheat it's a bit stressed with card nights but it looks very very good in fact if we get this rain on Monday and it gets out of all its nitrogen and uh, we'll be probably topping it up the week after then but it looks fantastic it looks got it's 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 got a lot of, a lot of potential and the field of grass next door bloody hell it's our neighbors I wouldn't one of our neighbors has got a, a block of land a little block of land it's right in the middle of us it's strange really and uh it, 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 it's he it drilled it with grass last season about a year on now and bloody hell you've never seen a crop of grass i don't know whether it's that western world what produces unbelievable yields i ought to ask him really because bloody fantastic grass because there isn't a lot of grass elsewhere but it is bloody hell it's hellish just on about compaction just give you a, and and drilling when conditions are good and when conditions are bad get a bit of a prime example here like what we had here with this was coriander this field last year and uh, there was a block of coriander from here to there what was late and they were still picking it and we wanted to drill it so we drilled that that block up field and then came back to this and uh, if you look at the wheat here this was like drilled in good conditions got away uh, and then we stopped here and started again but we didn't the drill buggered up and i don't know whether the metering system won't going around or anyway we had two breeds with eight meters here what it wasn't drilled anyway we didn't realize till a fortnight later everything else was coming out fortnight three weeks later and uh, so we came and puddled it in and look and we did puddle it in it was it looked all right but it wasn't the best of conditions it went in but it sat in sad conditions it won't it didn't get established at all look at look at that look at that compared to that well i would like to bet there's twice as much grain at harvest there than there is there and uh, and also about paddle we drilled it with Vadistad. So when we drilled this headland, I turned around here and paddled what I'd already I paddled it. And look, that's just proof of paddle. You don't get nout by paddling headland. So I mean I could do nothing else, but it just proves, doesn't it? I mean if, if you can't get your crops drilled in good conditions, they nearly won't leave it in the bag. But I know we all like a harvest, well, we need a harvest, but you can easily lose money nowadays instead of making money. We have a block of maize land there waiting for maize drill, don't know when he's coming. Um, he won't let me down, I hope he's here before Monday. Well there's three blocks, there's a little block here, 5 acre, 15 acre and 5 acre in this com com corner, so he'll probably pop in tomorrow and do it. Right, that's it, done. Thank you.